Hi class, welcome back. I'm Matt Fisher, your accounting professor. In today's video, we're gonna be going over straight line depreciation. So when we have these assets such as machinery, equipment, computers, vehicles, they depreciate in value over time. There's different ways that we can depreciate. Uh, there's the straight line method, there's the double declining balance method, and there's something that we call the units of production method. We're gonna go over each one of these methods in videos. And in this video, we're going over the straight line method. So let's look at some information, some given information. Let's say that we're purchasing uh, some machinery for $105,000. The salvage value, meaning what it's gonna be worth at the end of its life is $5,000. So once we're done with this asset, at the end of its life, it's gonna be worth $5,000. We believe that we're gonna be using this equipment or a useful life of five years. Okay, so now let's take a look at this first journal entry. When we purchase this machinery, we're going to debit machinery, $105,000, and then we will credit cash or notes payable, $105,000 for the purchase of the machinery. Now for the straight line depreciation method, uh, it's pretty simple. We're gonna take the cost of the asset less the salvage value. So remember, I said the cost of our asset was $105,000 and it had a salvage value of $5,000. So the cost minus the salvage value divided by the useful life, that's the formula. So then the useful life I said was five years so then in our example, 105,000 minus 5,000 gets us 100,000, divided by five gets us $20,000 of depreciation each year. So we're gonna have it for five years, so 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 80,000, $100,000 of depreciation over five years. That's the straight line method. So the journal entry is to debit depreciation expense, 20,000, and credit the accumulated depreciation, 20,000. That's a new account. You're not familiar with accumulated depreciation. It's a contra asset account, all right? So I'll come back to that in just a second. So now our depreciation expense in the first year, our journal entry is debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation, $20,000. In year two, we do that same journal entry again. In year three, we're gonna do it again. Year four, we'll do it again. And if we still have it in year five, we'll do it again, all right? So it's that same journal entry each year when we're using the straight line method. Now, let's take a look at this accumulated depreciation account. Okay, accumulated depreciation. In the first year, our machinery is on our books for $105,000, because that's what we purchased it for. After one year, the accumulated depreciation, I'm gonna abbreviate here, is $20,000. So then our net value, net book value for this machinery is then $85,000. Because machinery has a debit balance Accumulated depreciation, which is a contra asset account, it goes with the machinery, but it has a credit balance, debit balance, credit balance. They go together, so what happens is you subtract out the accumulated depreciation and it brings that value down. So then the value of the equipment overall is now 85,000. So that's at the end of year one. At the end of year two, what happens? Remember we do the same journal entry? But this accumulated depreciation already had $20,000 in it. So when we do 20,000 more the next year, it accumulates, hence the name accumulated depreciation. So after year two, there'll be 40,000 in there. So then my net book value will now become 65,000. I hope, I hope you can see now in year three, this will become 60,000, and then this will go down to 45,000. And now let's jump all the way to year five. Year five, you will have 
five full years of depreciation. So that would be five times 20. This would be 100,000. And so then my net book value would then become 5,000 at the end of the five years, which is my salvage value, what I thought my asset would be worth at the end of five years. Now, all these are just estimates, but there are best guess estimates that we can do. And that's what accounting is all about. Okay, now I wanna mention one more thing before we end this video. What happens if you purchase this asset uh, halfway through the year? Well, then we have just partial depreciation in the first year. Remember, our depreciation journal entry in the first year was debit to depreciation expense, 20,000, credit to the accumulated depreciation, 20,000. If we only had it for half a year, you wouldn't depreciate it a full 20,000 in the first year. You would just have half of that amount or $10,000 depreciation expense, that'd be your debit, and credit accumulated depreciation, $10,000. Then in year two, you would have that full 20,000 again, okay? So that's what partial year depreciation is. All right, class, I hope this has helped you. In the next video, we're gonna go over double declining balance depreciation. So we've done straight line now, and we'll go into double declining. All right, class, I hope to see you soon, bye.